Hi everyone, this is Faye. Thanks for watching my channel. I'm all about helping you to understand how to do business in China. Recently, I've received an email asking me how much does it cost to run a business in China? This could be a question to lots of people. So today, I'm gonna share some basic figures related to the cost of running a business in China with you. When starting a business in China, you have to choose one type of entity to get your business present in China. And the registration costs could differ quite largely between different service agents. There are many international legal firms charging very high hourly rates for the company setup costs, while some charge an all-in fee of around 44,500 to 50,000 RMB. Generally, Chinese local service agents provide a cheaper package which charges around 10,000 to 20,000 RMB. From selecting a company name, preparing all documents until opening a bank account, providing all correspondence in English. If you need help, please feel free to email me. Apart from company registration, recruitment is also an important element to consider. The national minimum wage and the average wage in China differs per region. For example, a technician can earn more than 9,000 RMB in Shenzhen, while a technician can earn 5,000 RMB only in Shanxi. The most common minimum wages in big cities are shown as follow. Also, bear in mind that if you want to hire foreigners in China, the wage and medical packages could be quite different from hiring a local Chinese. Apart from wage, social security fund are also different per region. Understanding these differences is important when considering different provinces, cities, or even districts. The basic rule of thumb regarding social security fund is a surplus of at least 30% on top of the gross agreed upon salary. This surplus goes to pension, disability, housing fund, and other benefits. And here's come the most important element to consider, tax. China's tax system for foreign companies is quite complicated. Also, keep in mind that it is subjected to change. It is important to keep an eye to the latest policy if you want to run a business in China. In short, there are two main types of taxes. Taxes related to company income or profit, including corporate income tax and withholding tax. And the second type, taxes related to sales and turnover, including VAT, consumption tax, stamp tax, and real estate tax. I won't go into too deep here. You can find more information from the website listed in the description below. Just one thing I want to specify is that, starting from 1st of April in 2021. Until now, small-scale taxpayers in China whose monthly sales volume doesn't exceed 100,000 RMB are exempt from VAT. One last thing you have to consider is the office rent. Here's some data from Statista. You can see the average monthly rent for Great E office space in Beijing has been dropping since 2018. And also here's the data for Shanghai. And the monthly average rent for Great E office space in Shanghai has been dropping since 2019. So it means renting a Great E office space in Beijing and Shanghai is much more cheaper than before. Or maybe you are not considering to rent a great office space. You may consider 
the popular work space we work in China, and here's what they offer in 2022. To sum up, the basic costs of running a business in China consist of company setup cost, recruitment costs, tax, and office rent. And these are the basic costs only. If you want to run a company in China, you definitely have to consider them. In conclusion, before starting a business in China, you should do as much research as you can to be familiar with the regulations, economy, human capital, and business practices of China. I hope this video helped you to understand the costs and the basics of running a business in China. If you like my video, please hit the subscribe and like button. Your support means a lot to me. Thank you.